To me, the environmental and sustainable movement is about a conversation that is an attempt to enlarge our vocabulary, to create a vastly expanded sense of what is possible on Earth for humankind. It is a language of relationship, it's a language of kinship, it's a language of inclusion, it is the language of generosity. I was recently told by a journalist from a magazine, aren't you just dreaming? <laughs> I said, absolutely, I'm dreaming. And it is our right to dream. It is something that we owe our children's children. A dream is a gift to the future, and the future is begging. I dream of a US that actually has an energy plan and a climate plan, a 100-year plan, not a midterm election plan, a water plan to get rid of all the corporate pollutants in our riparian corridors and in our streams, a biodiversity plan, a plan to eliminate poverty, literacy, a plan that ensures no child here or anywhere goes to bed hungry. I dream of another UN team shutting down the 10,000 chemical plants in this country which are essentially biological weapons waiting to happen. I dream of getting my government back a country of, by, and for the people. And I dream of a country that can say that it's wrong, that it's sorry. It can apologize and say it's sorry for the suffering it caused First Peoples, for African Americans, for Hispanic Americans, and for Asian Americans, and all people in all lands that we have tortured, that we have harmed, that we have killed. A country big and generous enough to pay reparations and build new schools in inner cities and act with decency. Eduardo Galeano talks about a time, a dream time, when historians will stop believing the countries enjoy being invaded, when the world will no longer be at war against the poor but against poverty, where the weapons industry will have no choice but to declare bankruptcy, when nobody will die of hunger because nobody will have indigestion and the street children will not be treated as if they were trash because there will be no street children because a black woman will become president of Brazil and another black woman president of the United States and an Indian woman president of Guatemala. These dreams are pipe dreams unless we act politically. I dream that we will become a political movement, not simply one called by the name of a color, but by the name of an ideal. What should we call it? Freedom. That's what sustainability is about. Freedom from tyranny, freedom from empire, freedom from corporate rule, free to honor life, to create in Janine Benyu's memorable phrase, a world that is conducive to life. Thank you very, very much.